<laughs> that was a good guy. Another day, another vlog. You know. Okay. So, so, I'm finally going to a doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. I made one last week for this week, so that's where I'm heading to go hopefully get um, answers, some blood work, and just kind of figure out what's up. Hopefully, it's nothing like, you know, internal mm -hmm. that's causing my hair shedding, but we will find out. We shall. Beautiful day out here. It is. It's very nice. And it's, it seems um, hot and like a little bit humid, right? Oh, you feel humidity? Um, yeah. Maybe it's just the rushing around. I don't know. Okay. But um, oh, my hair's looking cute. So what's in your hair? What are you wearing? So I'm wearing. So this is simply um, Diva Melted to Moisture Deep Conditioner. Yeah. I wore it yesterday. I wore it a couple of months ago, and I liked the way it formed the ringlets in my hair. And so I put it in yesterday as a deep conditioner rushing or something i don't know or maybe i just kind of like had the idea because i was reading comments or seeing other people's videos that they use it as a styler almost because i used to always put deep conditioner in my hair and just leave it and people would freak out about it not diva in particular but just the deep conditioner in general yeah. but i liked the results when we did that video a couple of months ago i put it in so um I liked it so much that I think I didn't want to find out when we came back or something. I said I wanted to keep it in. Yeah, you kept it in. Yeah. Speaking of Diva, though, um, I did get an email last night from somebody. Uh, I'm not sure how much they watched the channel, but I guess they came across our last couple of videos where I've been talking about my hair shedding. And it was literally like a dissertation in like the email, like no shade. It was this very, very, very long email about Diva Curl and then that influencer or whoever she is, the YouTuber that's talking about Diva Curl making her hair fall out. And I've said it on the channel and I'll say it again. Um, my hair shedding has absolutely nothing to do with Diva Curl. I'm not sticking that on Diva Curl because I don't I don't use Diva like that. And that's like no Tino shade to Diva. I love Diva. If I want to pick up Diva today, like I will and I know I'll get a great wash and go. Like, I love Diva Curl. It's just that we try so many products and I have other things I want to use. That's why I don't reach for Diva. But I have a whole section of Diva on my shelf. I love Diva. Um, but I don't use it regularly like that. So my hair shedding has nothing to do with Diva. But in the email there was like, a Facebook support group for people <laughs> whose hair's falling out because of Diva Curl. I'm like, I don't know what all this is about, this witch hunt for Diva Curl. I mean, maybe people's hair is falling out because of Diva Curl. I have no idea. Um, and people need a support group for it. Right. But, um, yeah, my shedding has nothing to do with Diva Curl whatsoever. Right. And it's not like holding your head. People know their own bodies. Yeah. They know their own schedule of hair and, and the hair loss and all that. So it's not like... You're coming to some great big business or whatever. Diva right. Curl, yeah. yeah do I just don't use it like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would say if I used like Diva Curl once every three months, like I'd be shocked. Like I mean, right. I don't use Diva like that, but I know if I want to do a Diva wash and go, I can. It'll be a great wash and go. Like I don't know. Yeah. But I just I don't use Diva regularly like that. What product in particular are people? I think people are talking about the Delight line, which we've never done. We've only okay. ever done the um, the original and decadence. decadence. So right. I've never done anything from the Yellow Delight line, which I believe is what's being spoken about. Okay. But, um, what they were like there. again, I've never, I didn't watch any of the, the, um, the Diva Curl, like, shedding videos and stuff, because I just know it's, like, not bad, but from some of the comments that I've read, it, it's the Delight line, as far as I know, and I've never used the Delight line. I think it could be a lot of factors. So. I think it's good. I don't dissuade you from going to the doctor because it's always important to go to the doctor and get your levels checked and all that. But um, I really think it's a combination of what we do. Oh, we do. Yeah, it's one of the random numbers again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Guys, I filled out something the other day for. You know when they send you those Walmart. You might have to shout because these windows are open. Okay. You know like when you they send you like an opportunity to win and you did a Walmart card waiting for you for like five hundred dollars. So the day that we were on our way to Target, I was just sitting in the car. Okay. I was just sitting in the car filling out. It's like you get into this spiral and you can't get yourself out. And I kept saying, okay, just one more question. Okay, just one more question. Okay, just one more question. And pretty soon, like the whole ride to Target, I was sitting there answering these questions. And then by the time we got to Target. I was nowhere near done, so I just backed out of it. That was the end of it. Well, I guess I gave enough information that my phone has been being So wait, what, what were you signing up for? It was like trying to get like um, a $500 Walmart card or a Target card. I don't know, girl. something. Oh, but then girl. you realize that you have to have subscriptions to magazines. There's like 
things you have to do, like 10 steps you have to do. You don't just get this card, like the card so-called waiting for you, and then um, you have to fill out all this information, and then, but there's a catch because you have to join clubs, and you have to get uh, subscriptions to magazines and all. Nothing in life so, is free. Nothing. I always say that, and I don't know why I didn't follow my own adage, but anywho, um, ever since then, my phone has been ringing off the hook, and so what I like about Verizon now or whatever it is, iPhones, Apple, I don't know, but you can just block right there. So the moment these numbers have been coming through, I have been blocking these numbers on a daily basis. Literally, you get like a million calls a I day do. from I random do. numbers. I this blocked at so least 50 in. last night. I blocked probably about 25 the day before. Now the parade of stars is starting again today. Yeah, that's, that's really And I just block, 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 and that's it. Just block it and then, you know, you don't hear from anymore. Pretty soon it'll die off, but that's what I get. Yeah, oh my That's goodness. what I get. Um, yeah. So we went yesterday to um, like get smoothies or whatever. I would say maybe like around like five o'clock. And oh my gosh, like mosquitoes lit me up. Like come literally lit me up. I got bit on my scalp, like on my scalp over here, on my forehead over here, and I have like six on my arm. My arm is so like swollen. Wow. Cause I guess I was like scratching in my sleep. So it's just like I got bit like twice up here. There's one like on my forearm. Like you see my you see my wrist like. It's like, oh my god, ah, like, oh, like, like, oh yeah. They like okay. lit me up yesterday. I'm surprised so much because it's like they should be dying off now, girl. Oh my goodness, I got bit up yesterday so bad. Okay. Um, so I didn't say what was in my hair. So we got sent some products from Moisture Love, and I heard about them. Uh, like, I tried to put it on us. Yeah, a while ago. Um, like maybe a year or two ago, and but I believe they just did some like reformulation. I believe they changed their formulas, and um, it smells. So it smells good. like straight up birthday cake. It does done right, it, right. It, it smells it. so good yeah. from the shampoo, the conditioner, the um, they have like a, a leave-in serum, mm -hmm. a tw uh, a butter or like a like a cream, a cream, a twisting cream, and they have an oil. All the products smell the same. Absolutely. Smells so consistently good. good across the board. When I got in the car, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's that smell? I thought it maybe was some sort of um, a syrup or flavoring in your coffee. Yeah. But you know, I, you said, I think it's my hair, and oh my gosh. Yeah. I put the oil in my so hair. Good. I didn't notice it because I was in the house like moving around, but um, I love the oil. I don't know. I can't describe it. It's, it's a toss between like an oil and a serum. It's it's thick, but it's not. Yeah. I like the way it went into my hair. The I shampoo did. was a little bit watery, was it? Um, but it did lather, which I was happy about I because like I shampoo. shampoo. Like, is it like watery, like okay? Not as that? oily as that, but it's not as like thick no. as like a normal shampoo. Okay. I'm sorry, not as watery as that, okay. but not but not as um, thick as like a normal shampoo. Okay. Um, it will like slide out of your hands if you move your hand. Okay. Um, I started kind of just putting it like on my scalp. Yeah. Like, I, does it have a spigot? No, no, but it, I feel like it probably should. Um, I do yesterday. Oh, I did a another like oil uh, treatment, but this time I well I detangled my hair with oil, and then I just kind of let it sit overnight. And this morning my scalp was itchy, so I was like, yeah, this needs to be shampooed. Whoa, this needs to be uh, shampooed out. Um, what happens if like a rock or like an acorn like cracks the window? Who's responsible? Um, um, the insurance company. Oh, wow, what is this? Like, what did you say? Oh, like no. something by nature, or act of God, clause? Yeah, no, no. In this case, um, it's covered under the insurance. I get the um, windshield, like whatever it's called. I forget what it is, but, but whatever it is, they will do the windshield. Um, and I think one time it happened where the guy will come to the house and take the windshield out in your own driveway and put like a brand new one in. I forget what that coverage is called. If you guys know what it is, put it down is it below. free? No, nothing on insurance companies are free, but it's oh. like an extra um, insurance, and we get it for the freak event of something happening to the windshield because it's a distraction. So is it part of the monthly payments? Yeah. Oh, okay. So so it's paid for. Yeah. Like part of the monthly payments, but like yeah. they'll come out and just switch it out. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I forget what it's called. Um, I'm 100 like windshield coverage, something. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, we have that. Um, and this, like you said, it's not so much like added on, but it's like a selection if you want it, you can have it or not. Okay. And if it kind of like were up to me, I'd probably, what it says, like what are the chances? But when things happen, like rocks hit your car or acorns fall, you're so glad you have it at that point mm -hmm. because it's a distraction. It just like, my, it would bug me because once it starts, it kind of like spiders out and it's hard to control. Yeah. So, um, and you know, we're on highways all the time and maybe trucks are driving by mm -hmm. and you know, a rock will pick up and their tire will like slam it back to the window and that's it, you know. And I don't know how much wind chills cost to fix if you didn't have insurance. 
Donkey's not a small doggy anymore. He's getting bigger and like he will jump out of chairs now. We used to be able to like do our makeup in our room and like put him in like our pink fuzzy chair but now he jumps off the chair and he won't sit. He like roams around the room which I don't like because um I don't know what he could pick like put in his mouth. Like we really yeah. don't let doggy just roam around the house or just roam because like there's stuff on the floor. Like I, I commend people that do that they get dogs. I, I spoke to a woman the other day at my reunion and her dog is six months old as well and he's trained, house trained and he roams around the house. Like she goes out during the day and does different errands or whatever and he's in the house and I would be so afraid. And yeah. Do we have like too many things down? I don't know because we have the floor, we have couches, we have coffee tables with things on the coffee table, we have rugs, like lamps. Um, I just like you know in my room like you know I have my shoes out, my makeup stash, the product stash, like there's stuff that just can't be put up. You can't just have I mean people I would have we would have no furniture. We would have no yeah. anything. Like how I don't do people do it. How do you guys I don't know. train in that way when you have a dog? See because the doggy's all new to us and we've never owned pets. I always say like I had one years ago, twenty five years ago and I don't even remember. But how do you have a pet and it's trained? house train, potty train, whatever, for indoors, but then there's another element to this, then now they have to be able to like roam the house, yeah. you know, and it's just, I, I, I don't know how to do that, so like that's why we have him in that huge roomy, like pen, pen, but to let him roam free, he immediately goes for walls, um, corners of uh, furniture, couches, Tissue, yeah, oh, yeah. It's like, there's just, um, and it's, you think you pick up everything and everything's gone, but a baby yeah. can find it, I guess, in a, in a doggy. I thought I got it. everything. He came running by me with the hair clip. Yep, there goes another one of the calls. And so, let's see what state this is from now. Doggy. Always very obscure state. You see, that I've, um, I bet they try to trick me. It's like they, Dan Barry's been coming into. You know what? Let me just grab this one, though. This might be something I might need. Let me just talk to Hello? busted calls and what I've been noticing is that they've been doing the, um, the towns next to me so those are the Danbury which is confusing because I'm thinking okay it's in Connecticut because normally I'm seeing like something like South Carolina or Texas or Georgia and so when I see Connecticut I'm thinking okay you know the Danbury they'll do they'll do Darien, Greenwich and though I know I don't have any dealings in those different towns I'm like okay it's still Connecticut so you never know nope I think they just feel like if they have um, a Connecticut town, I'd be more likely to pick up. Yeah. But no. So, guys. So, as you guys know, like, I've been doing like, some substitute teaching. And I subbed in an 8th grade class yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, it was very exciting. I really thought, like, 8th graders were getting ready to look like seniors in high school. I don't know why. I feel like kids just look older these days. But um, they actually weren't. They still look like kids and definitely acted like kids. Like, they were good. For the most part, they were good. They were definitely good. more, like, autonomous than elementary school kids where you have to like handhold them like they definitely were more independent okay. but just like obnoxious in their own like middle school way like the boys would make noises and just so sure. laughing about everything like it's just they would just be laughing and I'm like I didn't know you know literary terms were funny like it was just, everything was funny and it was like okay but for the most part they were good kids so I enjoyed it it's it was fun. fun so I said next high school I gotta try high school but um as far as eighth graders like good I've tried six seven now um, that's good and you said you liked it but then I asked you I said well could you like switch teaching because I know you're like certified K through six mm -hmm. you like no you that's a whole nother certification you have to go back yeah so I would have to go back for secondary ed which would be a certification for 712 seventh 7 grade through 12th grade because I'm certified K6 and um my turn in here yes uh, and so you were like, you know, you can just go back to probably like only a couple more classes. And I said, absolutely not. It's like all the classes kind of all over again, different psychology classes, different classroom management classes. Cause these aren't like babies. Like they're, they're, they're pre-teenagers, teenagers, pre-teens. And it's like a whole different animal. So, um, I'm trying to see if that's something I'd want to do. Um, based off of yesterday, I liked it. I like that they're older and it's less handholding. Yeah. It's just, I give an assignment. They know how to write. They know how to read. They know how to listen. Um, and you know they just they yeah, they do it yeah. yeah they're independent they do it so I like that um, but it's just so funny like middle school girls like <laughs> I told the kids like they can do the assignment it's not group work but they can chat like I don't want to hear you like you can talk but like keep the volume down and so like they were able to do that but there were these three girls in the front they were talking like so like furiously like 
like everything was dumb. like it's probably not that serious like it's middle school but like everything was just, like the way they were talking was so funny like it was just so important and it was like just middle school girls so funny and I'm like I like, wonder what they're talking about it's probably not that serious but the girls face like, but it was, like, like that serious. yeah it was like the end of the world yeah. like they were talking about some girl and some guy and it was just, <laughs> I was like oh gosh <laughs> I remember those days yeah saw any phones like put the phones away no phones okay yeah there were there was a girl who like raised her hand and asked if she could listen to music but i figured that would people would probably take out their phones right and it'd be on instagram facebook and no yeah, yeah. Doing that. So i was like nope i said like you can talk quietly you know that's basically it i mean thinking about it now um i didn't maybe she didn't have like friends in the classroom or anyone to talk to oh, so maybe okay. she might have been one of those people who might have just like put her headphones in and listened to music but but you yeah, know and go then yeah yeah it should really be on a case by case basis i because for me, sometimes I didn't have friends in the class, so I would have been a person that just would have been sitting there doing my work quietly. Yeah. And, but maybe I would have appreciated, like, you know, putting Cheetah Girls in my ear. Okay. You know? <laughs> so, um, I didn't really, like, I didn't think about that, but I'm thinking about it now. But again, like, you know, if I let one do it, then everybody will do it. And then we will be blasting music. And then somebody will be like, oops, I forgot to put my headphones in. And then, you know, that right. music will be blasting in the room. And it's just, you know. It's always an oops moment. It's always an oops moment. So. Yeah. Well, that's one thing about teaching I learned about like reflection so like you, you know you teach a day and then like you reflect on how the day went so right now I just like reflected like you know when I said to that girl like you know no no music or whatever like maybe she might have appreciated music okay. because she didn't have anybody to talk to in the classroom so that's something to think about right that's what you do think, yeah. think about that because because of your own experience that's why you got into teaching mm -hmm. so that's good that you think about that so next time like I said case by case basis right yeah almost there um we will see you guys i guess there okay i thought this was an exit i know i did too right <laughs> i just randomly put that line there like right. hey. yeah let's um, see if my smoothie is defrosted from when i was like i'm glad like to say about five mm -hmm. it was forever to break my smoothie so i took part of yours and part of mine and breakfast this is my dunkin donuts mango smoothie stir it up but it was frozen so I put it in the freezer and it's thawing out. Let's see if it's ever ready. Mental health update. I know like the past two weeks have been like the last rose of summer yeah. but I actually feel good. Hi. The pendulum swings both ways. Yeah. You never down on. for long and yeah, it's living life. Things happen. Living like Larry. Comment on <laughs> hashtag living like Larry. <laughs> <laughs> where's that from? Yeah. I don't One, know where's it from. 110 Commerce Drive. Where the where is that? Commerce. Oh, Griffin. Oh, what's up there? Oh, we've never been there before. Which way? Right there. Okay. The, yeah, Griffin Hospital. You see that? Oh, cute. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, guys. So we are going to. Uh, go to this appointment and uh we'll see you guys maybe inside we'll see because we're kind of well we're not really late but you know we gotta go and fill out the paperwork all that kind of stuff so we'll see you guys maybe inside or back in the car i don't know we'll see okay. all right bye, bye. hi guys <laughs> back so soon so i switched purses and i like only took a few cards out of my wallet to put into like my new like smaller side bag purse and i didn't put my insurance card in there so i had to reschedule my appointment for next week so at least it wasn't like they at least it was soon it's only next week right next tuesday where are we at it's a week away today's tuesday yeah. so next tuesday october 1st i'll have my actual appointment so why don't we the mystery continues now yeah. we keep waiting adulting 101 but, yeah that's why i said i said but, you know these things these things first off the first instinct was just like oh. Right. But you know, just because like what I know, I said I hate those words like oh that's so easy or like you should know better and all that. But no, you don't. I mean, even though you know you're 26, you're on the, like the older side of being an adult and all that. Like if you've never experienced these things, as you guys all know, I said boring journey, all that. Like there's things I haven't experienced, and so these are things that you have to remember. I'm always like I mean, it's a plus having... that I make my own appointments. Right? That's a plus. How they walk you into appointments? I know. So, baby steps. So um, yeah. So it. I was like wow like how do you go to the doctor without having your insurance card but what's common knowledge to me because i mean i didn't even think about it i've been that. there before like mm -hmm. i said even when they always say can i have your card so they can make a copy of it i said each and every time you go they always want that card to make a copy of it so 
Um, but anywho, that's that. So now we are back in the car. We're going to Walmart because I have a return there. Catalog. I'm not, how, why do I say catalog? I'm dating myself. Um, Walmart's safer than Target. Target. Yes. We will like go crazy in Target. Mm -hmm. but Walmart, like we can just go in, do get what we need to get, and leave. Yeah. It's not like we'd like die, but like in Targets, yeah. but, like we have a return. But then we'd like, okay, let's look at the hair aisle. Let's look at the clothes. Yeah. <gasps> so. You know that um, that camouflage shirt I wore the other day? Yeah. And I took a picture of it and I yeah. posted it on Instagram. Yeah. And I tagged Target and they commented on it. It had like the official like Target blue check really? next to it. And they were like, you know, hashtag um, share my Target style or something to like be reposted by Target or whatever. Like, really? give us rights to the picture. And so I was like, you know, here you go. Here you go. Oh, okay. okay. Because people tag Target every day, but like to get Target, like they commented under my picture. Right, like, that's and the picture wasn't, cool. wasn't even that sickening, but. Well, you have to show me which one it was. You know, girl, I'll have to show you. Know, like, I, know. I was like, oh, let's take it. What's good? But um, yeah, anyway, so that's that. Um, mm -hmm. So again, the mystery continues. I did do my hair today, and there was. Um, Shady, I guess we'll talk again as we drive. Right. Um, there was. Back to my smoothie. Yeah. There, uh, there was shedding. So what I've been doing is doing like six day wash and goes, which, because I figured less manipulation with my hair, but I don't think that's a good idea. My hair had a lot of matting mm. yesterday. I was pretty shook. Um, the amount of matting in my hair. Um, yeah. And, you know, again, the amount of hair that I lost. So now I'm thinking three days max. Okay. Three days maximum yeah. for a wash and go, and then I'm gonna wash my hair again. Okay. So. And just very gentle detangling, I always say. I swear yeah. I was detangling for like an hour and a half yesterday. I was take it was taking so long. But I find myself definitely losing more than um, I'm comfortable with, and it is coming out. I'm swearing. It's the highlights, mm -hmm. and I think some of the comments that we've been receiving, and people are saying the same thing that when their hair sheds it's the highlights mm -hmm. you know that are coming out so yeah oh yeah the highlight the first thing and the parts that were like really mad at mm -hmm. were the highlighted parts i think it's so. not designed to do what we do like highlights i guess are nice in its place but the way we always are doing these wash and goes um constantly wetting our hair weakening our hair right. with water allowing it to dry like right now my hair is in the process of drying so it's been wet for quite some time where some people wash their hair and they immediately go into drying it mm -hmm. and we just kind of allow ours to bake all day and dry and then we know that like our hair is set for a few days but i think just highlights were not designed for what we do so that's why they are becoming a problem. A problem. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, I did notice one of the ingredients in the cream that I use for Moisture Love. The second ingredient was hydrolyzed soy protein. Okay. So, uh, of the cream, you said? Yeah. Okay. So I saw that and I was like, mm, but I put it in yes. my hair anyway because maybe my hair needs a little bit of protein. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I haven't used protein in a bit. I think I was going to try to mix the two Diva conditioners together but um i just didn't have time for all that today mm. so i did not but um yeah it's probably time to do protein but i don't think that's why mine shedding because i am not that far removed from when i do use protein you think yours is seasonal mine could be seasonal i also think like i've been saying um it's going back to back in june the treatment for my ms oh right you know like the last time that's what happened and so i'm thinking i'm watching and i think at the time i said i'm gonna watch you know going forward if this treatment is going to affect my hair the way it did when I had the big chop. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing the makings of that. So, but I'm, I'm like you, I am not going to keep trying and trying and guessing and discussing and just like chop, chop, chop. I am done with it. I am not going to be bothered to appear every day stressing out about my hair falling out. I'm going to cut it out. That way I don't have to worry about it. So that's how I handle mine. <laughs> be sickening sure we already know this we already know this like if you're new to the channel like go back to like our first videos and like watch them through who did that cat cat caught vlogs okay i think has watched every single one of our videos and commented like over the past month or two girl we see your comments like we do she comments like she watches she's been watching every video and commenting <laughs> on every video it's so funny like in order i believe even like the giveaway videos and Really? So funny. Okay. So shout out to you. Like she went through like all of our videos, I believe. <laughs> so I think she just recently like, you know, I made it or something. Wow. Like, okay. And we have like four hundred videos on the channel, so shout out to you. It's yeah. definitely been like a few months. Like it I've has been noticing been. it. Yeah. It definitely has been. So funny. 
But I, that, I think that's what I did with Raven Elise. I went back to her like first video, and like for months I've been just like like yeah. watching them like through. I know because every time I come downstairs, you sit on the couch watching Raven yeah. Elise. But so. then when you really like someone, you can watch their videos again. Yes. So people are like, oh, I've watched this video like five times, and I think like, watch this five times. I like, know, that's but like so I will true. do that. I'll have like a favorite vlog or like a lookbook or whatever she'll do, and I'm like, I'm gonna watch this again. I'm gonna watch this mom vlog again. Like, yeah. So. I'll come I can back. See I'm that. like, what are you watching? And I'm like, and you're like, I'll start it over. I'm like, no, 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 you're, you're almost done with it. Like, that's okay. I don't mind watching it again. I'll watch it again. So yeah, but that's what I do with my with my crime channels. Okay. Yeah. So like, when you really enjoy someone and like mm -hmm. their content, you can watch them again. I started watching um makeup videos again the oh. other day. Yeah. Um, okay. different people doing. Oh, I forgot we need gas. Um, mm -hmm. different people doing um different makeup and stuff because it's fall and I love fall. I mm -hmm. love warm eye looks. Um, I love dark lipstick. It's, yep. it's that time. I got that new palette. I don't know if I put it on um, a video in a vlog. I don't know, but um, by um, Urban Decay, that Honey palette. I am loving that palette. Walmart is Urban Decay does really good eyeshadows. They so do. I'm loving that. I love the colors. They're warm. Normally I'll get the warm, but my favorite one is is it the heat one? That's very warm. The oranges, the yeah. reds, all of that. And the, but this Honey one is um, like mustard yellows, um, beiges. Mm -hmm. Um, very warm, like terracotta colors and golds. So I am loving this palette. Oh, we're in the middle of the road. I hate being in the middle of the road and the lights turn red. Yeah. I'm like, eh, do I go? Do I go? Okay, I'm going to have to go because I'm in the middle of the road. So, all right. So we're at Walmart. We will see you uh, inside. Okay. We will see you inside. All right. All right. <laughs> so we are in the Halloween costume section because, as you guys know, our Friday Night Lives. In the month of October, we like to dress up, so we're just kind of getting some ideas. We said, I think there's there's gonna be four Fridays we're gonna dress up, and then Halloween is on a Thursday. So Halloween is on a Thursday, so we're gonna dress up. So basically, we're dressing up five times in the month of October, and we said we kind of want to stick to a theme. So like each each Friday, we'll have like a theme. So like mm -hmm. for example, say like one night will be Disney. Like we'll dress up as Disney characters or something. So like we want to stick to the same theme. So. Yeah, or we're just kind of, to. or at least try to. <laughs> so that's what's going. That's gonna be fun. Friday night live, every Friday, eight ish, 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 ish. ish, ish. <laughs> For behind us as well, we we decorate it. What was behind us as well? Oh, look at Jesse. We keep seeing the same the Jesse hat. You know, honestly, Halloween costumes are not cheap. So we were like, maybe one night we'll go all out, and the rest. Because we really don't need full out costumes because no. they people only basically see like our chest and our face and our hair exactly so it has to be like makeup heavy like stuff like right. accessories for the hair and the head and exactly you'll get the idea of the costume from what you can see from our torso on up so to right. buy a whole costume with bottoms and everything like yeah. that's kind of a waste of money right we like like gory things we like more cutesy things exactly. we don't really go gore fuzzy spider yeah I don't like spiders unless they're like cute faced spiders we love lights I wouldn't mind like some flashing lights like this how this is flashing that's cool pumpkin lights see like cute pumpkin I love cutesy things I like I can't do eyeballs or yeah. things like that. Things like this. This is oh, oh my goodness. Oh, snap. See, definitely can't do that. <laughs> definitely can't do that. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh look at the um the trick or treat. Um things. And of course like the, the sugar skulls. What's what is um the day of the dead in Spanish? Dia de los muertos. Muertos? Muertos? It sounds well, like that might be it. The Day of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's some wigs. Ooh. Girl, we got an email. Someone was going to pay us to do a wig review, girl, but we don't know how to lay wigs. We don't know how to lay wigs, and we don't wear wigs. Although I've tried to wear a wig before, but you won't let me be great. One before, very, like, girl, that wasn't laid though. That looked like a wig. No, it didn't. Everybody said it's sickening, girl. Who's everybody? everybody? All of our subscribers. Girl, except the real ones who told you it was busted. <laughs> Get like sticky things for the window. Um, yeah. The house window. Should. This is what they look like. 
But I, like I always do extra, right? And then like we'll be hanging these things. Let's see how big they are, guys. Don't do this in the stores. We don't open packaging. Um, of course, my first pen, my man, they have two. I'm getting. Um, oh, they're big. Like, where are we putting those? That's what I'm saying. I, I know. Want remember, extra. we did lights last year, and they barely showed up because of the chandelier in the right, in the dining room. Yes, because it competed with that. Yeah, we still want to do lights, so maybe we do need to do something like bigger, so at least you can see. Yeah, look at the pumpkin. How we did like little lights last time. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, let's check over here. This is like all like decorations. Decorations. I was gonna say this would be cute for the grass, like witch's legs, but dogs would probably pull them out. Oh snap, these move. How cute. Cute booze. Ribbon. This is cute, this is you. Happy Halloween. Or trick or treat. I like the um, The welcome. Happy Halloween. I love the, the design. This is Happy Halloween wood. Happy harvest. Oh, what's her washing though? Right? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh wait, let's go back to this aisle. Cause this is costumes. So we're gonna pick up some little pumpkins, so. This is Harry. I go, well, I poke that, I love poke that everything. This is Jerry. <laughs> um, yeah. This is, do you like all black? Or we want them to be colorful? That's cute, that's cute. Oh, this is, you know, it looks like a, um, it looks like a, a, um, looks like a um, oh, I like uh, this one. That's cute. This is Larry. Did I say Larry already? Um, <laughs> what about? Oh, like this. This is. This is oh, Gary. that's cute. I was gonna grab that, that one there. That's is so that the white? Can we do the black and white stripe one? Yeah. This one here? Yeah. yeah. It kind of looks like the round ones, right? Yeah. Because they look so cute. Do they have, they have a round sparkly one. They don't have a round sparkly polka dot one. Oh, look at the black and white polka dot one. That's cute. That looks kind of dingy though. There's an all. I don't know. I have to think about this. It's all glitter. No. That's cute. Do we want some glitter ones? Okay, yeah, they can't tell how dingy this one is. Yeah, I like that one. Um, okay. Do we want any any other glittery ones? Um, that's cute. That's like polished, right? Okay, so there's like... What other kind of... These are all like glitter in here. Green. Yeah. Do you like the green? Can you see if it's like more fall or something? How cute! Look at her face! Yeah. She was just like hanging she's out. She's so cute. Where, well, she has a tag on her. She's a dollar eighty-four. Girl, she's cute. She's adorable. I love her sickening curls. <laughs> she needs a home. She does. And she found one. <laughs> <laughs> How weird is this? That's very weird. This is not what we're going for. No, not at all. So that's the gore. Oh, look at the cup over there. Right there. Oh, the cup. Here. Come in for a bite. Oh, get it bite like a vampire? Aha, uh -huh, I get it. This is what we're going for. Like, that's so cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's it. Alright. We've been like all up in this aisle for at least 30 minutes. Yeah, so. Just still browsing. I mean, just getting ideas. Because yeah. like, this is how we decorate. Yeah, you said last year you were like that it was tacky. I was like, I feel like no matter what we do, it's going to be tacky. It's just going to be like. I didn't say it in a negative way. I said it's just a lot of stuff. I said it just add to like. Yeah, it's just going to be like an explosion of Halloween yeah. behind us.
So now we're also trying to think of like activities. What did we do last year? We carved a pumpkin. Throw some ideas, guys, because this will definitely come out. Yeah. Of course, some Halloween ideas. ideas. Last year, I think we carved yeah. a pumpkin. What do you guys want to see behind us? Yeah, we want to see behind us and um, what kind of Halloween activities. We carved a pumpkin last year. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to do that again. I want to also do like, you know how Tasty has those like Halloween yes. themed like baked goods and like yes. they make the quick one minute like baked good things, like yes. one minute video things. So. I talked to the little apple tart. Oh, I thought that's cute. And then I saw cookie um, cutters over there. I showed them the cookie cutters. We could make well, like, a little, see, the, um, right behind the... Oh, okay. Right there, guys, up there. <laughs> All right. So there's a spider garland. Oh my god, it's so cute! Look at the eyeballs. So now we're just doing our other Walmart activities. I guess we do kind of die in Walmart too. I guess we do. How long so, have we been here now? Um, definitely over an hour. Really? Um, so our cart is full of Halloween stuff, which we'll show you guys like the official stuff. You know, when we do <laughs> our live or whatever, or mm -hmm. it was a quick peek. I'll just scan the cart and then you guys will officially see it when it's like our backdrop backdrop behind us but now we're just picking up other things yeah. like uh, paper, paper towels. towels which um, are they down there I, yeah they might be down there I all right like, let me show you this walmart's hair section so this is the small hair section This is just a quick scan of the cart. Lots of things here. All of this is going to be uh, put on the wall somewhere for our lives. So you guys will end up seeing how it all comes together. But definitely check out Walmart. Their stuff is really affordable. I'm dumb, guys. I dropped that. Got on my pants, too. Because we totally use them. We do. We totally use them. We love them. I think the only cute one here is Pooh. And then they have Eeyore, but I have the Eeyore ones already. Yeah. Did you say that you have the same Eeyore one? No, because my Eeyore ones don't have a tail. When did they upgrade it this year? And gave them a tail. <laughs> they up upgraded that price, too. They did. They used to be 19. I raved about one when they were 19. And now they're like 21. 21. Ooh, pockets. Did you just have pockets? Mine doesn't have pockets. Cute. I'm saying you save on your heating bill. Put on those tickling pajamas. <laughs> yeah, no, Adam tried it. Adam them. tried to put his little portable heater on already. We were like, shut it are down. You? I know. I'm like, shut are it you down. Out of your mind? I'm yeah. Like, uh -uh. Who had the rule growing up that you don't put on heat until November? Me. And so I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I said he was, I was smelled like a bug and I said in a busted world yes. or something. I couldn't believe it. So I was he like, don't pay no it. bills, blasting the heat. Blasting. I was like, turn it off mm -hmm. now, right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Put on, right, put on some socks, put on a hoodie, put on some sweatpants, mm -hmm. like it is not but heater season you, yet. But we put these on and we are so warm. So it's warm. Really, I mean to the point where you have to peel them up in the middle Like, of the night. yeah, like that and yeah. a blanket and some socks yeah. and you will be fine. Like no one's saying like, we're doing that when it's like negative degrees, yeah. but like right now. Yeah, because when it's negative, I just put that on and a hoodie and all that and still not enough. But yeah. when it starts getting like that little chill, this is he said he was snug like a bug in a rug. He was. He went into his room and it like literally the heat like hit you in the face. Like mm -hmm. he fell asleep with the heater on in September. Yeah, no, not no, that. not having that. No, no. Backdrops. We just come into the little fabric section and look around. We basically have every color of the rainbow, um, except we have a video coming up that you have a certain vision for. So we are looking. hours later <laughs> no, we only say one thing and do the complete know, opposite we normally hang out in Walmart. yeah we just hang out in any store definitely so i'm yeah. gonna load the stuff in the car and then i think we have to go to the grocery store and then we're going home yes. right yeah yeah mm -hmm. so now we are just getting gas we went to the grocery store we're getting gas um and lorian is cleaning the windows over here washing windows getting ready to fill up her tank and she did not want to fill up her tank this moisture love did so good oh my gosh i like her 
Where'd Lorianne go? Oh, there she is. Hi, Mama. Oh my God, there's a bug on my nose. Did you guys see that? Oh my God. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Alright guys, what if I get these plastic glasses? I don't I don't know. Know. What do you mean? No, no, no. Like I would have said they've been complimented on before we like those. Yeah, yeah they have. Um I don't know, just they just look very googly eyed right now. <laughs> Guys, we I'm came sorry. home and we got so distracted. We made food and like we're sitting here eating our food, watching the Get Ready With Me. Maybe the title would have changed by now because um, mm -hmm. we're thinking it ain't getting no views because of the title right now. Um, and we, I'm like, Ma, we didn't close the vlog. So we're here to close the vlog out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're sitting here watching the video we, we put out where we're just sitting um, putting on makeup. And it's been like an hour and it has like two Normally views, we know it's a good video when we down. get about... Mm -hmm. <sighs> The, the, the customary thumbs down so we, at least we know that the same but but it's so soon it barely has any thumbs up and people are already thumbsing it down i'm like you know they're not yeah. really here for this video um, normally we know um if you guys like it if we get like about 300 i gauge in the first hour. hour but y'all ain't here for flav today and so i was gonna be here for flav but i'm gonna go up and get my bag <laughs> we were gonna them, like like i don't yeah. know like, we were joking we we're like you know they're not really here for flav like <laughs> right i was gonna read, i was gonna read. Out, this i mean i'm thinking it's the title because it's what we always do we're just sitting and talking and you guys like when we chat i'm like mom this video is not but i said moving. this is not a makeup channel i said people don't really there are people that wear makeup on our channel because we've we've polled you guys on friday night lives and in other videos and you in the comments you guys said no you're interested in our foundation what we wear our makeup some people like that but apparently not enough or i said maybe possibly the timing i don't know but this one is not moving the way it normally does but yeah at this I point mean, it's makeup but mm -hmm. we're chatting it's not like a tutorial it's mm -hmm. less about the makeup more just us having conversation so yeah. i'm thinking it's the title titles matter i'm thinking but yes we were sitting here we're like mom they not really here for, for flav, flav. <laughs> uh -huh, y'all ain't here for flav who's here for flav y'all um ha who's really hands up we have to tell y'all a joke because I feel like we're gonna be saying that a lot. Like, we are. Like, we're switching up our content. We, it's like, who's really here for Mad Curls? And so right. that's what we mean when we say not really here for Flav. Back in the day, Flavor of Love, all those like twenty women were trying to get um, mm -hmm. Flavor Flav's attention, be his girl or whatever. And that was just like the thing they said, like you know, she's not really here for Flav. She's not really here. And for they're him, all so. like judging each other. They're all yeah. in the same boat, all trying to um, gain his affection. Yeah. And so then they would call each other out, like they would get behind the scenes, the cameraman, all that. Like he, she's not really she's here. Not Really fake. She's fake. Everybody's fake. Yeah. Everybody's not here for Flav. Flav. So, so we're that's just like, the, the joke we took now. Like, see who's really here for Flav. When we say Flav, we mean us. Who's really here yeah. for Mad so Curls? You're so like, like, you're so bothered by Watching us no matter what. And I'm so not bothered. You're like, I'm so like, she's like so bothered. Like, she was really seriously going to shut it down. And by now, she might have shut it down. I don't know. I'm watching it right now to view, see if it's worth shutting down. So it might have been a video that y'all didn't lose your minds. It really was out there at one point. If it's not there, then we decided, no, y'all ain't here for Flav. We're taking it down. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag here for flame right. like so i mean because for real like i mean mm. it was easy to be here for us i guess when all we did was hair tutorials because that's what our channel was made out of mm -hmm. but you guys but know now that we gonna lose our hair same sob store we keep saying our hair is falling out shedding it's this and that like we want to do less wash and goes um we're gonna be doing other content so mm -hmm. other content's coming and yes. we'll be seeing who's here for flame <laughs> who's really here for, for flame so <laughs> we're home now dogginess is sleeping yeah he's not night um and we're eating our dinner we have dessert we're gonna be watching this we video sure do. watching other videos just chilling maybe we'll film something um yes i really need to get see like this is what happens when you join a subscription and so i joined that sephora play subscription and so they wheel them out around this time of the month and so we have to put it out there the content you know even though each box is supposedly individual to the person that subscribed so i put a lot of like i checked off the questions for anti-aging i was interested in um, natural hair care um and just basically skincare, but really kind of leaning more towards like anti-aging skincare and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So my box will be unique just because somebody else does a Sephora Play video doesn't necessarily mean that our boxes will be the same. That's why I told you to join, but you're like, I'm not paying $10 for that. So, um, 
Well, it'll just be my other things I'm not, but i mean do. if your box is sickening then i might say oh yeah no this is definitely worth it so mm -hmm. um we know how we want to film this video you might see the video before you see this i don't know but like we haven't opened it yet it's going to be like a first impression on sephora play right the first box that um you got we haven't seen what's inside yet so mm -hmm. if it's something sickening then i might say oh yeah this is worth the money because stuff right. in sephora is expensive so to get it all in like a subscription service mm -hmm. um and hopefully they're not busted a whole bunch of samples busted that's, um, that's what i'm anticipating so we'll a whole see. bunch of samples yeah and i don't expect like regular size things i'd be shocked if that was in there i'm thinking a lot of travel size if that i'm thinking of the things like if those little um 100 points mm -hmm. that size i don't know so i'm excited to try to do that but if it goes through today it'll be a miracle <laughs> because i am so tired we're right chilling now. we really really did a lot you yeah. know as you saw in this video all that walmart shopping and all yeah. of that stuff we're chilling so. i'm aggravated that our videos not getting no views and so that makes me <laughs> want to go to bed because it's like <laughs> filming and editing is hard and so when the video goes south i'm just like you know what i'm going to bed like i'm yes. going to bed <laughs> but i'm just not bothered okay girl. Anywho, girl, you don't get bothered by the important things girl. i just don't these girl. are important things okay <laughs> so yeah if you're starting a youtube channel like you just try different things mm -hmm. you can tell stuff's not working but of views of sorts of sorts yeah. i guess well how else do would you tell um i don't really know but i i really don't want i don't clock watch the views like that i just don't okay. i put it out there and i really walk away i think i don't get bothered you know by uh negative comments i really don't i don't visit the channel as our channel grows it's it's really staying pretty much even you know um people I, we just don't find like the nasty comments and i'm not saying that that's not gonna happen as the mm -hmm. channel grows i believe that those people we will, like barely get we never we really yeah. we never get nasty comments nope i mean there's a space where i found the other day um where it is like comments held for review i didn't even bother go i clicked in there and there was a whole host of comments um i don't know why certain people's comments get held for reviews really? why they don't um i didn't want to scroll because i didn't know if there was anything nasty in there and i didn't want to read nasty yeah. comments but um like for the first couple ones it wasn't anything like nasty it's just like a normal comment but they held it for a review wow. for some reason so i'm sure they're holding like busted reviews yeah. and or busted comments in there maybe yeah. like i don't know why what what that's about yeah what no, they held to keep on my to mental health even keel i do not visit um things like that i don't i don't enjoy partaking in that i don't yeah. enjoy reading that and um i don't i don't put myself in, into those spaces so um but you know i do we do what we can do and and i do not take it personally i just don't you know, um, we put it out there. No, I don't. Like, we film. We do what we love to do. We're fortunate to do what we do. And so if people watch it, good for them. If they don't, I, it's, it seriously it doesn't make me, you know, as I say, no, never mind. <laughs> but no, I, I just don't. I mean, I think if it continuously happened, then I'd question even the existence of the channel. But uh, every now and then, if we put out some content and somebody doesn't watch it, like, not bother. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm just not. I have to get with her behind the scenes. <laughs> I mean, it's only our livelihood, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. So, yeah. Positive vibes, though. Positive mm -hmm. vibes. Positive, Love y'all so much. Love you so much. Hashtag Michael Spam. We hit 20K. We're very excited. I know. And you guys are very excited, too. We're, we're seeing the comments. We on said, video. someone said, no, now onward to 50K. <laughs> we have to set like a more reasonable goal. That would be right. a goal for you. Okay. 50K by December. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> that was like back, reasonable goal. Back in the summertime, I said, let's try to get 25. No. Yeah. I am saying. I don't want to do a Christmas one because it doesn't really make sense to me. I would say probably, but it looks weird. I'd say 23 by Christmas, if that. Um, I don't really think we'd even do that. Really? I would say, yeah. I, I, would, I, consider, I would say that's reasonable. 23 by Christmas? 23 when we September, September, where well, basically October, October, November, December, three months to get 3,000 mm -hmm. subscribers. It could happen. We basically get 1,000 a month. So that, that mm -hmm. could happen. That could happen. Yes. Ah. But it's just like an odd number. I like kind of like, I like like the 25. 25? Maybe, maybe 25 you, by Valentine's Day or something like that. But we like have that. to like film every single day and go hard and do like weird stuff. Like we wash our hair with hot sauce. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Busted so, stuff. That's why I like that we organically grow and we just. Um, no clickbait. Mm -mm. No weird things. Yeah. Challenges. We don't do challenges. Yeah. No, that's why we just kind of like tell through the tulips just growing at a reasonable pace oh my cupcake oh i'm ready for dessert okay sounds good all right guys thank you so much for watching this vlog and for watching us and yeah. being here for flave we appreciate y'all yes i know <laughs> because if you're listening to this message then you're watching this video you're watching this video and you got to the end of the video mm -hmm.
which we always like to know who gets to the end. Who really gets to the end of the videos? Because yeah. we know they're kind of long, but yeah. I enjoy a long video. I do. For my favorite YouTubers. I do. I enjoy a long I video. Do. All right, guys. Thank you so much okay. for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next video. What you said. Was that your line? <laughs> Girl. Oh, I say thank you guys so much for watching. And then you say, and, and see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.